Welcome back everyone. So today I'm going to highlight what I feel is a very special speaker integrated amplifier combination. Something that not only represents a great value for the money, but most importantly, has the kind of sound that I believe will make a lot of different people happy. And the last bit is particularly important because truth be told, Finding a system that I can recommend to a broad audience is extremely challenging. In fact, that's why I don't do it that often, because we all have different situations. We're in different rooms, we listen to different types of music, we have different listening habits and different tastes and sound, and you get the picture. So it's difficult to find a single system that will complement many of these different variables. But I think the system that you're looking at right here comes closer than any other that I've experienced, especially for the money. And that's why I feel like it's absolutely worth talking about in a dedicated video. Now, before I begin though, I need to make my intentions very clear. The only reason why I'm posting this video is because it's in response to all the frustration that I see from many of you out there. People who are tired of watching or reading one positive review after the other without being told directly what system actually works, what system is worth looking into. So this video is my take on one such system, and I hope that it'll help at least some of you out, especially those of you who are looking to step into your first high quality stereo system. So here's the game plan. First, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod, then I'm gonna briefly go over the individual components that you're looking at, and then I'm going to tell you exactly why I think this system is so special and worth considering. So let's go. So let's kick this off with the speakers first. What you're looking at are the Triangle Berea 3s, or as I like to call them, the Bro 3s. Triangle is a company out of France, and the speakers themselves retail for $550 US dollars a pair. And the cool thing about Triangle is that their products are well distributed throughout the globe, meaning that most of you watching this video right now should have access to this product. Now, a little over a year ago, I gave these speakers an absolute rave review, and that's because I feel like they have the kind of performance traits that many people like. Going down the list for a second, they have this lively and detailed held sound. The mid-range takes on this huge sense of scale with an open and clear presentation. The bass output is very strong for a speaker this size. They lay down a huge sound stage. They sound good at low volumes as well as high volumes, and plus they're easy to drive, meaning you don't need a huge power amplifier to take them to loud volumes. But still, they're not going to be without at least some kind of flaw. Starting with the treble, that liveliness in the top end is due to there being a bump in the lower treble. Now, if you're in a reflective room and or if you already own equipment that's a little bit bright sounding, that may be too much of a good thing. And then when it comes to the bass output, while it's strong, it's not the absolute last word in speed. And that's something we're gonna get to in just a moment. But next, let's move on to the integrated amp. So this is the IOTA VX SA3 integrated amplifier. Let's go ahead and turn it on. IOTA VX is a British company. In fact, they follow more of the consumer direct business model, meaning that when you order it, it'll come shipped directly from the UK. Now, this integrated amplifier retails for just over 500 US dollars. It uses a class AB topology and it'll output 45 watts per channel into eight ohms. It also has a decent feature set featuring tone controls that's accessible via software. We have a subwoofer out, a built-in phono stage, as well as a built-in DAC. But what makes this unit so special is how flexible it is in terms of the speakers that it pairs up well to. Because it has such a balanced sound, by which I mean really good balance between the treble, the mid-range, and the bass, it lends itself well to a wide variety of speakers. It doesn't really matter whether you own Klipsch or Kef or Focal or B&W or Triangle, Polk Audio, Elac. It'll sound good with pretty much everything, making it a very easy integrated amplifier to recommend, unlike most components in this price range that have a very distinct sound, which make it a little bit more difficult to broadly recommend. Now, there's going to be some kind of an expense with this though, because some people will find this balanced presentation to sound just a little bit flat, and then there's going to be some features that some people will want out of this unit that it doesn't have to include home theater bypass, a USB input, as well as built-in streaming. Although you can get a streaming feature just by plugging in this little dongle that they uh, offer on their website. So. Individually, these components are already very good, but it's when you put them together, that's when something special truly happens. So let's talk about that now. Okay, so as I just mentioned, both the IOTA VX SA3 and the Triangle Bro 3s are exceptional products all on their own. But when you put them together, well, <laughs> that's when something special truly happens. Now, before I go there, I need to make one thing very clear to those of you who are relatively new to high-end audio. You see, 
Building a truly great stereo system involves more than just picking two well-reviewed products and pairing them together. Yeah, sure, sometimes that'll work, but most of the times you'll end up with fairly disappointing performance. And that's because what you should really be looking for are components that balance out one another's sound. And that's exactly what you get from this combination. A system where each product's strengths and weaknesses complement one another very well. Let me explain what I mean. Let's start off with the speakers. So the Triangle Bro 3s, as I mentioned before, they have this lively, open, full, and spacious sound. Yet, as some people point out, there are times when the treble can become just a little bit too prominent. And that's where the sound of the SA3 comes in. Its treble is very neutral, being neither tilted up or rolled off. And if anything, it actually sounds pretty refined for the money. And the net result of this pairing is that it allows the triangles to do their thing without ever being pushed too far in the wrong direction. You'll still get that lively character, but it's not overdone. And this contributes to a system that won't outright dictate the kind of music that it'll sound good with. Instead, you can just kick back and listen to whatever it is you want. And I think that is the mark of a quality stereo system. So now let's focus on the IOTA VX. While its even-keeled presentation is honestly pretty impressive, there's still some people out there who will listen to it and feel like it's, well, a tad boring. But when you pair it up to such colorful speakers like the Triangle Bro 3s, well, it's not even something that you will likely notice because the SA3 will inject a little bit of warmth into the sound and keep the speakers from sounding outright aggressive. And the Bro 3s will help give the SA3 just a little bit of kick, a little bit of spirit. And then there's going to be the power. So let's call it what it is. The SA3 is not a powerhouse. But the good news is it doesn't need to be with the Bro 3s because they're very easy speakers to drive. And even if you do want more power, it's not difficult to achieve because IOTA VX offers the matching power amp. I'm talking about the same exact amp that's inside the integrated amplifier for just $300. It's housed in the same case. It takes up the same real estate. And when you add that to the system, not only do you double the power, but you'll now get an even more muscular sounding presentation. And at this point, I'm talking about truly big sound from a system that has a relatively small footprint. So when you add all of this together, guys, I think you're getting a system that is incredibly well-rounded. It does a lot of the audiophile stuff well, but most importantly, it's just a whole lot of fun to listen to, regardless of the kind of music that you listen to. And I think that's great news. Now, is it perfect? I mean, of course not. Some people won't like the look. Some people will wish for more features. And of course, not everybody is going to like the sound. But as it stands right now, this is the best system that I can recommend to a broad audiophile audience, especially for this kind of money. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully it'll help some of you out. If you end up trying this system, by all means, let me know in the comment section what you think. Until then, thanks for watching and until next time, peace. <laughs> so how much do you want to make a bet that there's going to be at least a dozen comments in this video going, oh, I bet you he's just making this video because he's on the take. In fact, I can practically hear the jowls just blah, blah, blah. <laughs> But I mean, that's audiophiles for you. What are you going to do? Anyways, guys, I think the only thing that I'm missing out here is if the speakers are too big for your situation, whether it's too big for your room or maybe you're looking for more of a desktop solution, just scale down and go with the Triangle Bro twos. You're not going to get the same sense of scale out of those speakers, but what you are going to gain instead is something that can work better near wall boundaries, work better in a near field environment, and you're also going to achieve quicker, tighter bass. So just something to consider. Anyways, for real this time, thanks for watching and uh, peace.